So hello everyone and welcome to another part of your video. I've been waiting for this for the longest time and it's finally here. How to live connect Excel to Power BI. Let's get started. So I've been waiting for the longest time for this and now it's in May. They said we're going to roll out to all Power BI tenants. I finally have it and I'm really excited about this. It allows you to connect and sell Excel and Power BI and have a live connection. Okay, so let me show you. I have here a Power BI file. The only thing that you need to do is to publish it to some workspace on Power BI service. This works only on the service, okay? So remember that. Replace. And now that you have published it, you go on Power BI uh, service and find it. So here we go. It's called Live Connection. You click on the data set. I think it's the easiest way. You click here to analyze in Excel, also the easiest way, and then it will open a Power BI, uh, an Excel file. And this Excel file is going to be live connected to your Power BI dataset on PowerBI.com. So cool, so cool. There are a few things that I was suspecting that it would work. For example, um, you have to enable all the stuff, otherwise it won't work. So for example, they say, let me show you, that as you can see now, I have the data set is um, one um, dimension, so text, country, and then I have two of population, and they are numbers. So they said that on the newest version, or on this version, Excel will recognize a number as a number. It still doesn't do it for me though. So if I put this here, and I put total population change, I cannot move it to values because it doesn't recognize it at number. So to fix that, you need to create a measure. I'm going to show you. So this thing, in order to be able to refresh, you need to put it either on OneDrive or on SharePoint. So go and save it to OneDrive. So I have it here saved now in OneDrive. I open it up. It's, it says here, this workbook, be careful because it contains queries that can be unsaved. This is the connection to Power Query to Power BI, which is so 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 cool. So if you go in data and then refresh all connections, it'll go and refresh. And I'm gonna show you how I can tell you that this is actually refreshing. Let me show you. It's actually recognizing that I am I have it open. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create the measure in order to be able to do the calculation. So new measure and then population change, which is the sum of population change. I'm going to save it. I'm going to publish it again to the service, select, replace. And once you've published to the service, the only thing that you need to do is open your Excel file and uh, refresh it. So cool. Let me show you. So we go back to our Excel file in here, refresh. And now here you have it, right? Give it some time. It might take a little while. And now that I have it, I can put actually my measure onto the values, I can get rid of these, and then I have my pivot, and then I save, right? You save the Excel file, and it will remember that. It's already saved automatically. Another thing that you can do is to actually embed this Excel file or workbook on a Power BI app. Let me show you. So this is the app creation. You go to navigation. I have here the um, Light Connect Power BI uh, to Excel the Power BI file, and then you create and add a new link, which I call the Excel. And the, this link is the connection to this one, to the Excel live, you, you know, to the Excel file online. And once you have it, update up, update, and you will see that the uh, Excel file is actually in there. And it will refresh, obviously. So here we have the Power BI file, and this is the Excel that is refreshing life. <coughs> really, really cool, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to the time where we might not necessarily need to add these um, yeah, measures in order to be able to work. You know, in working Excel, you might just want to do like ad hoc analysis. 
So to go back to Power BI or having to ask somebody to do a measure for you might not be super practical, but otherwise this is really, really, really cool. So go ahead, give it a go. If this, if this doesn't work for you, it means that it hasn't been rolled out to your tenant yet, but it will come. So check frequently as I did and eventually you'll get it. This is over today. I'll see you maybe more videos this week. I'm not sure if I'm able to. I'm closing the year and having too much work before the holidays. So let's see if I manage to do a video. Otherwise, maybe I close down for the holidays. Not sure yet, but we will see. You will see and I'll, I'll let you know if I don't do any more videos until I come back from my summer vacation. So take that, take care and see you soon.